B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. How would you assess the current state of the Cambodian education sector in terms of the quality of education as well as access to education? Um, and how, do, how does that also differ maybe between like private and public schools? There is universal access to education in uh, Cambodia. There's universal access to the public education system. And uh, the public education system has been receiving an uh, increasing budget. Uh, the Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports is uh, already uh, one of the uh, largest uh, recipients of national budget. So together with the Ministry of uh, Health and the Ministry of Interior. And uh, the salaries of teachers has uh, increased. That increases the, the quality of teachers. Uh, if I can complain a little bit, I think what the Cambodian education, uh, public education system is missing right now is uh, a performance evaluation of teachers. So there needs to be a significant uh, systematic evaluation of public school teachers and teachers that are not good, they need to be fired. And uh, teachers that are good, they need to receive uh, incentives. And I think if there is the policy of firing bad teachers, replacing them with good teachers, that is going to create a pr pressure for better performance and better performance that's going to benefit uh, the whole country in terms of improved education. How do you think the current state of vocational training is here? Because I think that's one of the main things that the Ministry of Labor right now is pushing forward um, in terms of offering more vocational training opportunities to underprivileged communities here in Cambodia. But how do you think the, the quality of those studies are? I think sometimes there's uh, some uh, misunderstanding by everybody about uh, vocational training. Uh, there is a trend of the last uh, 20 years where higher education in universities regard themselves as vocational mm -hmm. training. So actually what we do here at CAMED, even though CAMED, our qualifications are bachelor degree, master degree, as well as professional qualifications, we, we regard ourselves as preparing students for a vocation. We don't create a, a separate system of vocational education. Rather, we should take uh, the existing university system and uh, ensure that the university system is training people for vocations. Uh, and uh, we do see employers, when they employ, they typically are not focused on vocational certificates. They're more typically focused on uh, does this employee have a bachelor degree? What is the subject of the bachelor degree, the master degree? They're not there is no standard yet for the vocational certification that they're looking for. However, uh, for students that, uh, especially in uh, uh, mechanics, manufacturing, tourism, uh, the pathway towards a bachelor degree, maybe it's uh, not appropriate or it's too long. So I think then vocational training has an important role to play. You really need to align with the market, align with uh, the reality of the demand for skills in Cambodia. How would you broadly summarize the main challenges that the education sector in Cambodia is currently facing? The uh, main challenge is uh, quality teachers. Mm -hmm. So I think if measures are taken to improve the quality of teachers, then uh, the education system will be improved a lot. If you have a good teacher, really, it doesn't matter uh, how the facilities are. It doesn't matter. Uh, nothing else matters if you have a really high quality teacher to guide and develop the skills uh, in the student. Uh, and for the government, it means they, they really need to have a performance evaluation of teachers. Bad teachers need to be fired. Good teachers mm -hmm. need to be promoted. And, um, and unfortunately, there's uh, some uh, challenges now with uh, Ministry of Labor and uh, also the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, issuance of uh, visas uh, or Department of Immigration uh, issuing visas. Many times the skills are not available here in Cambodia. We need the teachers, we need educators from uh, the US, from uh, India, from other countries 
uh, but uh, there is a quota on foreign workers. Mm -hmm. So these uh, quotas, any restriction, any limitation that slows down bringing a foreign teacher to Cambodia, whether it be a visa restriction or whether it be the uh, employment uh, license, work, work license, work permit, uh, the result is it's just hurting Cambodian education. So I am uh, advocating that these restrictions on foreigners in Cambodia, it really needs to be uh, eliminated for teachers, at least for teachers, allow uh, foreigners to uh, come here uh, freely, easily uh, with visas. What else do you think is still needed in terms of like the types of programs or contributions that are needed from both the government and the private sector uh, to further develop Cambodia's education sector? Uh, the curriculum uh, gets uh, outdated very quickly and it needs to be, uh, there needs to be a faster revision of the uh, study program. And the study program in the public sector also needs to adopt the kind of a vocational mindset. Uh, right now, I believe that the curriculum uh, study program used in uh, universities, it's more adopting the old uh, approach where you have a, a team of experts who decide uh, what students need to know. We need to uh, have a, an approach where we go out and we look at uh, the skills and the knowledge and the attitudes actually needed uh, by the community, by employers, by society, and then uh, make sure that the study program is uh, reflecting and uh, making progress towards those skills that are really actually needed. For my very last question, with our entire conversation in mind, how do you forecast the future development of education here in Cambodia? I'm very positive. The education sector in Cambodia has been very proactive in proving quality. I believe a lot of the uh, improvements in quality we see is from uh, uh, the free market. So parents uh, are free to choose one school to another, uh, especially uh, with private education. I see that uh, competition has been uh, very important in driving uh, innovation and improvement in quality. And I see that private schools, private universities nowadays uh, amazing uh, compared to what we saw uh, 10, 20 years ago. So uh, there's been a continuous improvement in the quality of private education and uh, the, the, the main catalyst is uh, free market competition. Thank you so much for your time today. It was a pleasure, pleasure. speaking Thank with you. you. This was B2B Cambodia's industry update on education in Cambodia. To make sure you don't miss out on any new updates or other industry deep dives, make sure to subscribe to our channel and to visit our website, b2b-cambodia.com. Thank you.